Alright, so we have an encounter. Lilia moves all the augments to random rounds. There you go. Yeah, also, Jumbo, one of my chatters, has uh, redeemed Nar Carry as uh, I have to force Nar Carry with channel points. So, that's what we're doing in this game. Nar reroll. So, we can do... There are a couple ways to do this. You can do, like, Nar Senna. You could do straight up Nar. But we definitely want Druids. Dryads, not Druids. Now, I don't always have to play it. I just need to I just need to get into it eventually. So this early game, like it can it can be played however I however I really need to. Now, how crazy would it be if he was exalted this game? That would have been that would have been awesome. Azir is exalted though. If we can hit Azir, he's exalted. Um we're not gonna level yet. We're just we're just gonna play the exalted for the moment. We have our Nar. We have our Nar. We have BT as well. So Choose my next augment? Okay. Alright. Alright. Alright, this is the viewer game, I guess. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. You're gonna choose something that's like super duper troll. My LP! My precious LP. And now I have a word ban. <laughs> I cannot say that word for the next five minutes. Zach, choose the augment you would like. You can also say to reroll. Roll the right two. Okay. Which one would you like? Okay. All right. Bench is full. Wow. Okay. So we have this for just gold, right? We have Senna. Yeah. Yeah. We could go the Senna route. Senna route wouldn't be bad. Nar Senna. No, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I mean, like, when... Yeah, it's... I know. I know. We have a Lowie, so I think it's actually better to ditch this at this point. So. We'll do this. We'll do this. Let's just slam the BT, because we know it's going to be there. Let me sell these. Good. Good. What's the ink shadow? Oh, no! All right. I said it. I'm sorry. All right, so I need to... Hold on. That's such a that's that's such a bad word for me. That's such a bad word for me. I think that I'm gonna give you like five thousand channel points because because I, I lost the challenge. But I'm still going to uphold I'm still going to uphold my values and not say that word for another two minutes. How to farm channel points. Yeah. 
I need to figure out how to do that, though. Um... Has so many ways, so many things are just like... I believe it is in mod view that I can do this a lot easier. I believe. No? Alright, I need to figure this out. I need to figure this out instead. Buried treasures is probably the, uh, the, the idea here. Probably the idea here. Branching out, not a good look. Latent Forge, though. Latent Forge, I'm not gonna get it until, like, stage four. But I could get, like, a Death's Defiance. Fine Vintage? Fine Vintage is so good. But for the Gnar... I think we have to go late in Forge. For I believe. I believe both would be good. Oh no, the word ban is gone. The oppression of not being able to say what. Absolute insanity. Who knew? Who knew that this would be my downfall? Yeah, but Death's Defiance is great with, uh... Ghostly Ash is so good. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I just, I just did that in my last game. I believe you were here for that, right? I got second, though, to, uh, to Bard Reroll. All right, so final comp here. We're definitely going the Dryads. We want a Warden. Maybe we do like a... Uh, like Jax, Senna. And then... I mean, we could do Udyr for Ink Shadow Behemoth. You just beat Bard... Re I mean, he was he was like super capped. Everything was two star. His... Or everything was three star. His, his Hui was, was two star with, with a Radiant item. Like, it was, it was super capped. Two star Senna, by the way. Same but minus the Radiant. Yeah. So we can go Rage Blade on Senna here. That's pretty good. So this is, I think, what we kind of want, right? Four Dryad, two Warden, two Behemoth. We need Sniper in, right? So then we just play, like, random Sniper. Could be Ash, but, I mean, Ink Shadow is Toxin. How good is Toxin, really? Toxin's pretty good for Senna. It's pretty good. Senna's pretty good. Senna's pretty good. Yeah, I also, um... Zach, I also had a three-star Ash that, that, that game. It was, it was, it was crazy. It was just unfortunate. I did not have, I did not have best, uh, the best items that I could have. So, second. Three, something like three star Annie, I think, is just like for the most part a win. Yeah. We're fishing. Fishing mini games. Yay. Okay, we got our gold. 
We got our gold. What do we get? What do we get? Uh, you know what? Tinky, you have you have instilled the fear of God in me. Because I just said, what? And I feared for my life. Infinity Force? Maybe it's Infinity Force Death's Defiance. Hullcrusher's not bad. But I think maybe it's Eternal Winter. No, I think that maybe what I do is 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 I'm going to like when I I think it's Infinity Force. Nah, it's an it's it's Eternal Winter. It's Eternal Winter. I'm gonna go I'm gonna farm for the for the Death Defiance. Because I still have another artifact coming in. I still have another artifact coming in. Oh, that... Oh my god. And this is what streaming's all about. Me feeling uncomfortable because 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 of you guys. <laughs> uh, Morgana. Morgana's pretty good. Morgana's just a great slam, but we already have. He just got Eternal Winter, so we barely, we don't even need Morgana anymore. Is she still good with that? Yeah, I think I just put in the the Rex Eye at this point. The Eternal Winter kind of makes it a little bit uh, not needed. In darkness, find ourselves. Yeah, so we'll roll here. Like I know that this is I know that this is uh, Senna as well, but I, I'm pretty sure that if you play this competitively, pretty sure that Nar Carry is Nar Senna reroll. Almost positive about that. I need the vest. It's a shame that it's on a one cost, but I need the vest. These, the vest, sir. Uh, do not take my vest. Damn it! Why? Why would you take my vest? That is everything I live for. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Dryad crown? Six dryad nar? Tiny but deadly is pretty cool, but I think that it's... I mean, since I'm going Gnar, I gotta go the Dryad Crown. Like, even if it's not the best idea, I gotta go it, right? Right? I have to. I have to. Then we can go, like, Kane for Ghostly. Right? I feel like, I mean, Senna's more important, but yeah, I could buy the cane. Aatrox. Aatrox is what I was missing here. Aatrox is, is, is Bruiser Ghostly. That's what I was missing. How do we do this? Where, where do we put this, uh, this, this Titans? Maybe the play is actually to do, like... I thought I would have had another vest at this point, you know? We're still waiting for our Latent Forge. Still waiting on that Latent Forge. Senna's a really good carry. It's actually, Nar. Nar did the most there. Lost a 10 Story Weaver. Yikes. Yikes. That is a yikes. Deathblade and a Death Cap. These last for three rounds each. Hog. But both on Senna. We are not finding many Nars. 
Is anybody playing Gnar? That guy has one. <laughs> this guy's playing Gnar reroll. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I think that what I do is I honestly put this Titans on Gnar, and then we'll pop it off with, with, with whatever artifact we get him. I gave him a warning. If he decides to not heed the warning, that's his problem. That's his problem. We go Dryad Jax. Um, more Nars, cool. We are two, we're one away. Time for the Nar. Time for the Nar. Where is he? Where is he? Give me the Nar. Give me the Nar. There he is. Three star Kindred, three star Nar. Let's go. Now I just. Now I just put whatever artifact I find on uh, the other dude instead, the Senna. Steadfast Heart there. We put uh, Warmogs here, and then we'll put like Shojin here. No, no, no. We don't need to. We don't need to slam the Shojin. All right. So we got this. Now we know. Now we know what to do it when we hit level seven. We're not hitting more Senna's for some reason. Oh my god, that was close. That was really close. Alright, so now we need to... We just lost our Deathblade and Deathcap, so now we need to actually level and put in the uh, the Senna. This guy... You can hit two two-star Nars. It's just going to be very difficult for him. Alright, let's put in this. We get our Toxin. We put that on Senna. Actually... Yeah, no, it's 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 still Senna. It's still Senna. Maybe we actually rebuild and we put it on Kindred instead. Maybe that's the play. And then we just play the Reaper instead. That seems like a better idea. Especially with, with Dryad. The Toxin on, on Kindred seems pretty good, actually. Like, I know the Ginsu's isn't amazing on her. How much AD does this guy have? 600. 630 AD on this man. Now, I have... I have 81. Okay, so give me, like, a Mana Zane for my Kindred. Mana Zane would be big. Death Defiance for my Kindred? Meh. Yeah. Anima Visage for more frontline? Nah, it's probably just Death Defiance. Right? Yeah, Death Defiance. Helps her, like, at the end of the game. At the end of the fight. Omnivamp is, is never, like... And if we r really needed to, we could always take out the Tattoo of Toxin. We don't, we don't need the Tattoo of Toxin on her. You know, we could do like a blue buff. We could do something a little bit different. That Gnar? You know what? You know what? Jumbo, I think you've converted me. Gnar, Gnar reroll's really fun. Gnar reroll's really fun.
Ooh, if we can get the Azir, but we're actually, we're, we're fourth pick. We can't, we can't get this, we're fourth pick. This guy went in our reroll and he, uh, he's, he's not doing too hot. He's not doing too hot. Mmm, Shiv, probably. Yeah, we want Shiv. Because this Kindred needs to, uh, needs to deal some more damage and we need the, uh... Okay, there's the Ghostly Reaper. We don't... We, we didn't necessarily need a... Actually, we do need a Ghostly Reaper instead. Yeah, we're good. This is what we do. We do Shiv here. Right, we do Shiv there. We will start spreading out our front line a little bit. Do it like this. And then have our kindred over here. This guy's got three star Teemo. That's a spooky Teemo. That's a that's a spooky Teemo. Ba boom too? Oh no. That's crazy. That's crazy. We don't need the snipers anymore. Now we have Reaper. Nar, are you okay? Nar, are you okay? Nar, are you okay? Nar, no, no. Kindred did the most there. Iso was 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 killing the Nar. That was not that was not very cash money of her. Gotta say, on the scale of one to cash money, it was definitely a two. You know? Because, like, I mean, we really, like, realistically, we really don't need this Tattoo of Toxin. If we got, like, anything else for this Kindred, could be a Shojin, could be a blue buff, could be Hodge, doesn't matter. I would, I would really like, like, a, like a Jewel Gauntlet, honestly. At this point, we have so much HP, though. Like, we are, we're just, we're just trying to hit nine so we can, we can slot in our, uh, our Orin and Azir. We already have everything that we need. We don't need to roll anymore for right now. This is our comp. Save your tears? For what? AD check, 588. All right, so we have Aatrox 2. This right here, I think that um, we're going to be... What are we going to be doing in the future? We want... We could do, like, set instead for a Warden. These items wouldn't be bad on set. You know? He goes right into the backline, then all the backline, whenever they kill somebody, ends up... They start attacking him instead, so then the, uh, the Eternal Winter's pretty good for that. What's this? A Huey. You don't say. Maybe we level up, we put the Huey in. We level up, we put the Huey in. And then we'll do... Uh, then we'll get a three-star Rek'Sai out of that. Yeah. Take three rounds, just do a three-star Rek'Sai. Um, then in that case, we want some anti-heal, right? Or maybe we do Giant Slayer for Kindred. No, we actually, what we want is this. We want, uh, we want some, some shred, some sunder. Because the Gnar is not doing as much as he could. We have the shred, now we need the sunder. Three turns, we'll have Rek'Sai 3. Quay actually did, like, no damage there. Kind of nutty. Death Defiance. Is Death Defiance going to be good enough here? No. She's she's stuck on, on the uh, Diana. And the way that Kindred works, it's actually Diana counters her. Return once again to be mildly toxic. <sighs> cannot stand chat. I cannot stand you. The Death Defiance would have been so good on Nar. It's a shame that I couldn't get it on him. If I had, like, a Golden Remover somehow, I absolutely would swap it out.
This poor guy still can't hit his gnar. This this poor guy still can't hit his gnar. Bad? God damn it! I can't escape. Am I gonna get rocked by Bard reroll again, or is Nar reroll going to uh, going to come out on top? He might actually. Nar reroll confirmed better confirmed better than three star Ash. I'd say so. Hey, I helped with your video retention stat when I fell asleep watching one of your vids and autoplay went to play my vids for six hours. <laughs> nice, nice. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Nice. Uh huh. Alright, um, next round we're gonna level to nine. We're gonna find our Azir. Next round. The poor guy. Th this, this guy went eighth because of Jumbo. Jumbo, this right here, this is your fault. This, p this man wanted to play Nar reroll. I would have let him, but I was forced into it. I hope you're happy. Poor lad, poor lad. This guy has three Azirs. That's gonna be a little tough to find one then. It's gonna be hard pressed to find one. Oh no. The Dryad 6 is gonna be pretty cool though. 11 health per enemy. That's gonna be an extra like 210 HP. Something like that. Extra th wait, th extra three hundred sixty though. Extra three hundred sixty. Yeah. We have Udir there. We have another Shiv for Huey. I think we take like uh, we take a Shojin. Because ideally, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be switching out this Huey for Azir, and then we have then we have Azir. There's our three-star Rek'Sai. Nice. All right, so we level. We try to find our Azir. If we find our Azir, then we then, then we replace the Huey. Otherwise, we don't replace the Huey. There's Azir. He's exalted too. Can we get exalted in? Elawi. So I'm going to need to find a way to do this. I'm going to need to take out Ink Shadow or hit level 10. Because Exalted is a huge buff. Exalted's a huge buff. Wait, what did I just... I thought that I had three Exalted. Oh, is she not Exalted? Oh, no, she's not Exalted. She's not Exalted. I can do Tom Kench, though, over... Uh... Yeah, I should have I should have put in my, my six Dryad. Somebody else has has two is has three as ears? Or is this the same guy? No. Somebody else has three Azirs. Insanity. I saw the three traits on Alawi and I got a little bit baited there. Even though there's no way for her to ever be exalted. Yeah. I mean, exalted's great, but I think Dryad 6 is way better. You know? Way better. How much does Jax block? A decent amount. I would I would prefer if it wasn't Jax, but yes. But like, look, 1200 HP from Dryad? Way better? What do you mean, way better? Than what? Way better than what? Than Azir? Okay. Kindred, go. Kindred, go. Kindred, go. Kindred, go. Do the thing. Do the thing. Oh, my God. Oh, way better. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. I understand now. I am I am just a silly Billy. Sorry. Be me. Be a silly Billy. Don't understand jokes.
Yeah, I think I, I think I want to take out Ink Shadow. I need a good item for Kindred though. Hodge? Is Hodge better? Probably. What am I really having issues with? AP? 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 Declaw? Declaw my Rek'Sai? Also, by the way, declawing your Rek'Sai is abuse. Please don't do it. Is this better? Yeah, declawing your your Rexi is 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 not is not healthy. Please don't do it. Please, be nice. The Dryad Udir seems pretty good, actually. Dryad Udir seems really good. This team's actually shaping up to be quite good. Like, I don't think I need the Bruiser, right? Bruiser's probably not important. I definitely want the Warden. We have Behemoth for Orn now. No Orn. There is a set though, but I, I I kinda I kinda like having the toxin more than like nothing, you know? The toxin's better than nothing. So probably better to have the the uh the jacks in here. We get some extra frontline from the Azir. Okay, okay. The Azir's doing good. The Azir got an item from my Orn. Based positioning on my end. Oh my god. This is so much better. This is so much better. Rek'Sai is blocking so much damage now. I killed that guy. I'm at least in second. Let's go. Let's go. And we have the uh, Shiv. The Shiv is really good here. Alright, so they are playing Umbral, which means that it doesn't matter how I position... Actually, it does matter how I position. I want to make sure that my Senna is not the closest unit to my to, to my Orn. Yeah. It's a first? You think so? I don't know about that one. I don't know if it's a first. It's possible. If I can two-star my Udyr, I think it's a first. If I can two-star my Udyr. I think it's a second, though. I think I lose here. Adaptive Helm on Azir? That's pretty okay. That's pretty okay. The Udyr already activated a Spirit Walker? Yeah, you see, like, I think I'm dead here. The Azir did not cook enough. GG. All right. Those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow my Twitch for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and thank you for Jumbo forcing the carry that game. Nice.